Well, it's becoming that time of year again, uh, the flu and cold season. I'm sure you've already seen the signs popping up everywhere. Get your flu shot. You know, got to stay ahead of the game, right? Well, if you hadn't figured it out yet, the whole flu shot thing is kind of a uh, kind of a scam. Uh, they keep coming out every year with, oh, we missed the virus, but now I think we've got it. So come on in and you keep getting shot after shot. You still keep getting sick. Let's talk about, first of all, flu and, you know, viruses and bacteria and viruses and bacteria's ability to cause disease. So um, a mentor of mine once said that uh, saying that bacteria and viruses cause disease is the same as saying flies cause garbage. So think about that for a minute. So let's say you wake up in the morning and some animal had knocked your garbage can over and in your driveway, you got this big pile of garbage. And there's all these flies swarming around. So you go out there and you break out your fly spray and you spray the garbage down and then what happens? You leave the garbage, you come back the next day, what's going to happen? Well, you got flies again, right? Well, so it's the same thing as saying that viruses and bacteria cause you to be sick. Viruses and bacteria are actually feeding on uh, tissue that is already sick, that's dead, that's decaying. If your body was strong and healthy, there would be no dead, decaying tissue. Otherwise, um, we'd be sick every time we got exposed to a virus. Every time, you know, you have over 4,000 viruses on your teeth right now, but you're not sick. Uh, if you were to culture people's throat, 98% of people already have streptococcus bacteria in their throat. How come they all don't have strep throat? Well, because when the throat gets sick enough to where there's an overgrowth of dead tissue cells, then the virus do their job by growing more so that they can go in and clean the, the dead and decaying cells away. If your throat stayed healthy, then you would never have the overgrowth of the bacteria. You know, if you went and killed all the bacteria and viruses in the world, then there wouldn't be anybody left to even know it happened because we dependent, we have a, a symbiotic relationship with bacteria and viruses and we need them to help us digest our food, help keep our body clean. So the idea that bugs cause disease is, is wrong, right? So people still, you're wondering, what do I got to do? You know, we got this cold season coming up. What do I have to do to really keep my immune system kicking on all cylinders so I can fight off any potential, keep my tissue cells healthy so that there's no chance of me getting the flu or colds or sore throats or any of that kind of stuff. Well, so there's some supplement stuff you can take, right? You want to boost your nutrition. Absolutely, right? Vitamin C, elderberry, stuff like that are things that can really kind of give your body the fuel, the, 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 the fuel it needs to fight off. But most importantly, your immune system is controlled by the nerve system, 100%. 100% is controlled by the nerve system. So if you can keep your immune system kicking on all cylinders, then it should be able to resist any attack, viral, bacterial, stress, but we have to keep it tuned up. Now, how do you do that? Well, there's only one place, one place in the whole body that controls everything else. It controls your immune system and controls your heart rate, your blood pressure, your digestion, even how your brain operates, and that's right at the brainstem. That's the upper cervical part of the spine. If one of these bones at the top of the neck gets out of line and squeezes down on the brainstem, for one, you have no pain perception there, right? So you don't have to have neck pain or headaches, but it could still be interfering with the message from your brain to your body. Uh, and if that happens, then that can weaken the immune system, make you more susceptible, not just to colds and flus and other viruses, but also a lot wide range of diseases. So what you need to do to make sure your body's functioning at its optimum is to make sure you have 100% communication between your brain and your body. Your nerve system, since your nerve system controls every function in your body, including your immune system, you got to make sure that nerve system is functioning at 100%. The only way to do that is to be checked by an upper cervical doctor to see if there's possibly something that's reducing your potential, your maximum potential of nerve flow from brain to body, which is going to maximize your immune system, help your digestion work, help you sleep better, help your energy levels, help your mental clarity. 
So find an upper cervical doctor near you. Just get checked, okay? All they can, you go in there and they can actually just check you to see, hey man, you have 100% communication, everything's functioning at 100%, you're doing the best you can, you'll, you'll be good. Otherwise, if there is a problem, they can tell you that too, usually on the first visit. They can bring you in, set you down, have a consultation, go through an exam, then find, hey, there is a problem. And if there is, they'll want to take x-rays to see what's causing the problem. And then they'll go over the x-rays with you to show you exactly how long it's been there and what they need to do to correct it. So try to find an upper cervical doctor near you. You can Google it. If you can't find one close enough, call our office. We'll do our best to try to find one for you. If you live in the Charlotte, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina area, give our office a call. We're the upper cervical doctor for you. Matter of fact, we never charge for the initial consultation to find out what your needs are. If it's something we think we can help, we'll definitely explain to you what we think we need to do to maximize your immune system, make your body function at 100%. Uh, if you have kids, now's a great time to get them checked. Never any better, to, uh, early, uh, the sooner the better. We get their immune system function on all cylinders. We stay ahead of the issue, make sure they stay healthy, do well in school, don't miss any days. So give our office a call. In Charlotte, we're at 704-588-5560 right on Arrowwood Road, right off of 485. Uh, we'll be happy to get you in as soon as possible to make sure everything's working at 100%. Look forward to meeting you. Find an upper cervical doctor. Have a great afternoon.